I, I think one, he has the right attitude. You know, he's uh, he's a coach that understands the quarterback position. He understands the offense. Uh, he's been in some systems and around some pretty good players, I would say. Um, I think he has that mentality. He has the uh, the worry about and commands that de you know demands that, that 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 command when he walks into a meeting room and the knowledge. And I think the first thing he's gonna he's gonna do. Players like him. They like playing for him. Uh, I know he was challenging to a lot of players. He challenged players. He tried to bring the best out of players. And uh, I think that'll be good. That team needs that. Um, they're young in some spots. Uh, they need to be developed in some spots. But overall, I mean, he's walked into a great situation. I mean, uh, offense with a lot of, a lot of, a lot of weapons in the run game and in the passing game. Physical team, a defense. You get a couple spots there. You know, safety position. I mean, you, you can't ask for more. And I think uh, things broke down. With Kubiak. Which happens, and players at a certain you know point wasn't buying into the system anymore, and there there wasn't responding. So I think with the fresh start, this team will be rejuvenated and get back to you know what we saw the year prior to this year. What do you think about Mike Vrabel heading over there too? <laughs> Mike Vrabel, Romeo Cannell, these are guys who really know the game. Vrabel was. You know, he was, he, was, he was a coach on the field with us as well. You know, he's one of those guys who really knew the game. So, linebackers are being good hands with him. Romeo. Brian Cushing's pretty good. <laughs> they got a lot of guys that's pretty good in that defense. I mean, it doesn't stop there. They can keep everybody healthy. What, what do you think they do with the quarterback situation sitting there with the number one well, pick? Well, you know, uh, I think that's the position you have to address moving forward. I know you got Case Keenum, a young guy, who showed a little bit of something, but if that's not your guy after you evaluate him, uh, then that's something that needs to be addressed within the draft. And there's a lot of potential guys that can lead a franchise in that draft. We'll have to see. Matt Schaub's got to be done though, right? Maybe he's done there. You know, I, 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 I just didn't see the confidence. We've seen the skill set for a number of years, what he can do. But, when, you know, you want your quarterback to be a fighter. You want guys to fight. You want your guys to bounce back. It just seems like during the year he lost his confidence a little bit. Um, I don't think he's a bad player. I think he can still play in the NFL. Um, maybe he needs a, a fresh situation, too. But I don't think it's going to be with the Texans. And just lastly, what do you think about uh, Johnny Manziel? you think he's worthy of a number one pick? Well, I'm not a quarterback coach, so I can't tell you all the things, but I can tell you watching the kid, he's a gamer. If you're looking for somebody that's going to sit in the pocket, a pocket passer and make throws, that's not him. You know, if you're looking for a guy that's going to make plays for you, that's going to give your offense a chance to be able to extend plays, then he's that guy. As far as his skill set as a pure passer, I'm not, I'm not sure where he is with that, but he is talented. A combo J.J. Watt and Clowney would be pretty good, though, right? Hey, we'll see. But I think you, you, you hit it on the head the first time. That quarterback position is pretty serious down there. So if you're going to take somebody one, it might be a quarterback. Thanks, Will.